Roku, know that you will never uh, rule out the XPK again because mm -hmm. I did that once. I did it before Worlds. I was like, yeah, XPK, he's all right, you know, but he isn't his former self. And then he showed up to basically destroy some mid lanes in, in that World Championship. Yep. And it was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Well, you've heard from us. What do you guys think? Do you think Origin's going to take this one or H2K? You know what to do. At LOL Esports is the handle. Hashtag OG win or H2K win. And we are starting up. Yep. Speaking of smelling the gang, he knows exactly what's up. He saw amazing in the sights. Arden, he's stunned up. Spell Shield comes in too late. He has to flash his ignite. Meanwhile, back to the middle. Ryu, oh so low. He finally burns down. It's amazing who gets the kill and barely gets out alive. Body slam back to tower. Check in on to Soaz. Doesn't really find too much damage. Lulex inbound as well to help Odo Omni out. Soaz got to know something's up now, and they're looking for a revenge kill after the first blood. Flash for Flash, Ooh. but Lulex wasn't on the same page he is now. He goes in, and he picks up the kill while Odo Omni tanks the tower. And I think this is definitely the right lane for Odo Omni. This is, I, th I feel like this is just to get the dragon control back in their favor. And they're saying that they're confident Soaz can keep Yarnin off this tower. Look at the damage from that flame spitter. Yarnin had no mana to really return fire on that. Yeah, he has no summoners either, so he has to be very careful. Origin is playing his wheel. Their resource memory is really good. But here's Odoana. Yep, he zooms on in. Beeline towards Mithy. Amazing now having to body slam away, but now Niels is here. And H2K are turning and running. Yarnin, meanwhile, is burning away as Soaz outplays him in the 1v1. H2K in full retreat as Peke jumps over the wall. They decide to turn their attention to blue. We talk about H2K and what they do from 10 to 20 minutes, but Origin's not keen on letting it be an even playing field by the time it gets to that point. We're not quite at that 10-minute mark. Mithy now roaming down to the bottom side. He's spotted by Oda Wamne, who's a little slow to react, but that is because Yarnin on the hunt, coming on in, and now Oda Wamne chases in, throws down the Twisted Advance and the Maelstrom. They're looking for Mithy, but it stuns up. Yarnin will find it with a boomerang and kneels all by himself. The hate spikes were flying, the poison was ticking, wasn't quite enough, and Lulex goes down, courtesy of the tower. This, is, that this is the third time I've seen H2K be a little hesitant on following up on each other. Amazing spend a lot of time there. Top lane's really not gankable. Mid lane's really hard to gank, so it's very likely that Evelyn's are down in the bot lane. Right, and you know, when you play as many games as these guys, you've got to have that game sense available to know when that's happening. These guys definitely have now a teleport for Soaz. Lulex is going to spot that one up. As Amazing throws out the big barrel. They were looking for Yarnin, but he threw down the spell shield and equalizer. Oh, Mass has to as well. They found it. The monsoon will keep Lulex alive. Just barely, but Niels finds one. Can he do another? Condemn against the wall. So as double kill. Soaz looking for more. Turns tail and runs. Whoever's the tower was there. They forsook him and it was a two for one. Some deep vision coming in from Mithy here. They basically want to surround the mid lane with vision on both flanks so they can safely push in this tower. Getting this tower will mean a lot for Origin because it will open up the map and allow them to roam and make more picks. Secure it up, no problem. Meanwhile, up in the top, Odo Omni's gonna flash, but he's still stunned up by Mithy. Niels chasing him down, and he should be able to secure it as Amazing had him locked up. Meanwhile, back to the mid, Peke goes in, Lulex goes down, but so does Peke. There were way too many members of H2K there. Use a W, it can get dodged, but if you just wait for the Q to connect, then you can guarantee the CC, but they're going out of mid lane. Speaking of tippers, Yarnin, the rest of the team took a lot of it. Spell Shield will keep him alive for a few more moments, but Soaz is still able to burn him down. He does a lot of damage, Niels does a lot of damage, Peke does a lot of damage, even Miffy does a lot of damage for his support. Here. Yeah, so. damage everywhere. Yeah, tower goes down, there's an equalizer. Lulex is going to have to move away, and Peke has him in his sights. Can he pick him off? The wild chase through the jungle commences. The hate spikes will do nothing to Peke, as after the chains hit, it was all over. I don't think HDK really expected it. Meanwhile, Oda Wamne now targeted down. The tower is still doing some work, but Oda will finally evaporate. Niels jumped on by Lulex. Does he have the damage condemned against the wall? Yes, he does. Niels is unstoppable, and he gets some help from Mithy. While Soaz is chasing Ryu back, this tower should be Yarnin's gone. Going down too. So is Yarnin. Goodbye. Good night. Fantastic kiting by Niels. He basically almost gets caught there. He says, nope, the JPEG. He should be able to get out. And now Niels is in. Oh, they just want to go for it. He's now coming in from Soaz. They won't even need him right now as the rest of the team is there. One, two, and three. They peel the bark off the tree and they can take Dragon for free. Nobody do break the CC because the damage alone will just straight up kill your team. Lulex prowling around. He needs around. to steal this. He has to be able to, but he Peke scouting. doesn't quite have flash up. He's going in. The Tibbers is on him. They turn their attention and the solo mission is a failure. Baron is going down. Origin has everything. And they're back into base. Yeah, without.
do indeed. Baron buff still empowering those minions. So Origin can push just a little bit longer. Look for the Righteous Glory Silver ulti. If they're going to do something, it's right now. Yeah, well, and there it goes. The Equalizer gets thrown down, though, and H2K's health bars are evaporating a very big barrel. Separates H2K as Ryu throws down the Zhonya's. Desperation move on to Niels. It doesn't work. It's just not enough. And Origin, with three kills, will get another in him and set their sights on the Nexus. Again, fantastic caddy by Niels. Somehow, amongst all of that, he manages to stay alive. And Origin is looking to close out this game immediately. Teleport on the Tibbers, Soaz says, I'm gonna end this game in style. Clear through the last of the minions. Peke causing havoc to Yarnin in the back. They're looking to end it right now. And under 28 minutes, Origin have thundered to a 2-0 start in the LCS Summer Split. Fantastic, but I, I do feel, yeah. H2K, they focus very heavily on on trying to keep the mid down a little bit. Just didn't do anything. <laughs> and there's so as with the baguette. Ah, some top quality bantas. Tasty bread, man. I love.